Hey everyone, Lensmanos here and welcome to a first look game. Uh, this time it's Trashed by a Josh Preeson. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Preeson. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, and published by Crescent Moon Games. Uh, it is a pre-alpha as it says in the top there. So there was a little bit of a kerfuffle when this came out on the Steam store. Somehow it went straight from... Um, instead of releasing into early access it released into full release which wasn't quite right they did manage to bring it back slightly um or bring it back to early early access but it's sorry that's just me adjusting some some sound there uh it, it is very pre-alpha and it's quite evident uh, i'm going to hit new game uh we only get to choose from one planet in this pre-alpha and that's the desert planet and it is a uh, an action indie strategy game there's not a lot of stuff happening yet as I, as, as I said pre-alpha um, I can see potential in it I I don't know what the final outcome is going to be the dev is very active there are a lot of changes happening um, I'm just not sure where it's going yet still needs a lot of work a lot of tweaking and a lot of uh, content to be added but um, it's it's playable. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to be harsh. It's playable. Um, What's that? Yeah, but we'll get into the story. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yeah, he's uh, right here. Oh uh, yes, he, he's the new recruit. Good. Well, uh, good enough. I'm gonna train him up, and he'll be ready in a day. Well, no, no, sir. I haven't had the time. Been pretty rough around here. What? My replacement? Are you serious? You fucking asshole! I mean, sorry, sir. I, I didn't know what I was saying. Eh, yeah, well, fuck you too, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> nice. Hey, pisshead. Good luck. This job sucks ass. Good way to start, right? There you go. There's your baptism of fire to a new job on some distant planet where you're not really sure what to do. So we can move around. Um, e button is your use. Garbage is building up and time is wasted. Go to the vending machine and get whatever diagrams are left. You can come back when you earn more cash to get more. Now there's a garbage shipment due here in an hour. If you fuck it up, you can go home. Well, all right then. Goodbye and good luck. All right. So here we are on this planet. Uh, you got these little contract things which don't seem to do too much for you yet. And then we've got this um, vending machine. Currently got 500 monies. Uh, I'm going to buy battery, conveyor belts, and that's probably all I have the money for now. Already, uh, power lines probably good, but not quite yet. Solar panels is a good idea. All right, so we've got the ability to make things. Yeah, <laughs> let's fall down the elevator. Nope. You used to have to activate the elevator. Now it seems to. This must be a new update. Is it? it activates the elevator for you all right anyway uh, I'm gonna take the vehicle it's just like a little dump trucky you uh, are uh, bulldozer looking thing we're gonna swing past old mate over here and pick up some weapons okay just getting a leaf blower and again, this this has slightly changed since the last time I played it. Played it a bit over a week ago, and things seem to be uh, seem to have been adjusted a touch. First time I've seen anything actually do it. All right, so here we are. We're on a desert planet, and your job is oh, I'm stuck. Here we go. Your job is to recycle the garbage and get money for it. Very straightforward. Things come in, get dumped. 
and uh, yeah, we're doing a burnout here. The more things that get burnt through, you get money. I'm currently getting about two or three dollars per item. Uh, hello, rotate. You can pick up items. Uh, you can, you know, pick up and throw items. And obviously, while it's daytime, things are processing, and we can do things. So, building menu. I can make another incinerator. If you place it right next door to it, it makes a big one. This only works once. You can only go double wide. So because I have the conveyor belt thing, I can put some conveyor belts down. And that's going to move all the items towards the incinerator. Again, it's not going to work much because it's um, because we're, we're solar couple of batteries in. Uh, now, your building materials all comes from stuff that you uh, can pick up uh, and then pretty soon once we get enough money we'll be able to um, get a recycler which gives us items instead of money from some of the stuff. It's literally just a game of uh, recycling items and eventually coming up with a nice big system here of being able to recycle everything. I think stuck on the top of my, my vehicle now. I don't think there's any way of lifting the bucket and putting it up and down or anything. Go back over here. And there's a few more items to come in. Good stuff, we're up to 349. <laughs> Just walk through, bud. Alright. I don't know what this thing does, I don't think it does anything. No, it's just a box. I believe later on we'll be able to do something with it. And then more and more garbage. I don't know why I've got my hand on the mouse. I'm really not using the mouse. More and more garbage will be delivered. And it's just a case of making sure we're getting rid of it. A load of rubbish coming in and if you build this well enough you can get like it's just done here everything just drops straight in and and feeds into the system so if I went and built uh, get how to rotate the belts now Okay, I think my um, mouse wheel is actually having some dramas lately. Nice, oh, look at that. Chewing into it. Okay, let's run back over and see if we can afford a recycler and then we can start getting some more building materials. Yeah, you used to have to activate the elevator, I think. It's just a touch too... Too, uh... Touchy at the moment. Uh... A grinder makes big garbage into small garbage. Uh... Where are we? Recycler. So we'll take the recycler. Because we need materials. As I said, we've got some materials down here and it doesn't hurt to have a, a source of income like a source of uh, items to be able to build so I'm gonna set up one of these guys nearby near over here near all our power and and hopefully 
I go build a cycle and put it like here, we probably build two of them. And then as we did before with the conveyors. Right, so anything goes down there, we'll actually get items from it. Pretty sure there's no money. Or is there money? We got 133 at the moment. No, so there's no money from them. But we're gonna get items to be able to make new and improved belts and the like. The next one is to save up the 450 to get the next um, machine. Get a grinder machine. Hello? Drive, please. A collision there. Push him in. I think we're going to have an issue because of the, the big items in here. Can't pick them up either. Apparently I can run on top of them though. Hey! <laughs> None of these things are working? No. And there please. Right, cool. So as you can see, like it, it, it's very pre-alpha. Let's not grab any of that stuff. Apparently we can. These garbage bags don't don't give anything. Well, they're not actually there. Anyway, All right, with two hundred sixteen, we still need to get rid of this thing. Push some items around. And then I'm rebuilding something here to crush the bigger items in the path would be good. What do we need? We need another 450, didn't we? Another load of uh, rubbish would be good. As if by magic, it says there's more arriving soon. You can on the belt. Oh, we're running out of power. So it's not night time. Well, it's not daytime. It's night time. Dump it over there. Close. <laughs> that should get us some money. Don't know what I'll make stuck on. Give him a clip. There we go. Yeah, well, not dealing with site B, mate. Hello? I'm stuck. There's probably a huge pile over at site B. Smashing it in there. So again, as I said, I can see a lot of potential 
Um, and really just a casual casual game. Me and driving on that thing again. Um, I see some potential of, you know, something to just while away the, the hours, building some huge contraption here to collect everything as it drops and processing it through. Um, you can imagine all belts everywhere here and these guys being automatically crushed and and the like. But yes, I think, um, as I said, it's early, it, it, it's early alpha. Um, let me just flick over to my Steam page here. Uh, it's currently being sold for $14.50 via, you know, your early access setup so that the dev has money to continue developing. Uh, I, I, I get it, I just... I'd, I'd really like to see, I don't know, just some more, some more content, some more machines, some more uh, power generation, um, and that sort of thing, in order to uh, justify that price. At the moment, I think I think the price is a touch high for what you get. Personal opinion, just a touch high for what you're actually getting. Anyway, I'm gonna continue smacking some rubbish into this thing here and next uh, next you know well, what am I gonna say you know and unlock the next thing um, but I think I think that's all you guys really need to see for a first look um, as I said the game its name is trashed it's by Josh Precision, maybe. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry if that's you and 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 I can't pronounce your name. Um, we'll just blame it on my Australian accent or something. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this. Go and check it out if you uh, if you're interested. The links will be down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.